So we're going to do this. Um, I will. Hello. Welcome. Nah, that's a bit. Welcome. That's a bit dramatic, like Spartans. Um, okay. You, okay. I'm going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in my own voice. I think it will just come from the heart if I'm going to do that. Imagine me going like, hello, welcome, it's me. I want you to join me on the social impact. <laughs> no, it's too dramatic. Come on, Harry. Um, okay, can you press the record? You press the... Oh, come on, man. Okay, now I'm, I'm not prepared. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. Hi, I'm Keenan Williams, and this is the Social Impact Box. It's a social impact live. We're doing things live now. This is the place where we look at societal norms and challenge them through thought-provoking conversation and opinion. It's a safe place. A very, very safe. Harry, it's a safe place. Take your knife off the table. Thank you, Dunky. In Corsi, Mambanani. All right. Thank you very much. It's a safe place where we'll be able to speak your mind or to listen to others speaking theirs. We'll be in- meeting some interesting, weird, wild, and wonderful people through our episodes and invite various experts to share their thoughts on some pertinent topics. I'll be with you every step of the way each weeknight at 9 p.m. South African Standard Time only on kwmedia.life. A reminder to stalk us on all forms of social media and to listen to previous episodes of our podcast by visiting kwmedia.life. This is the Social Impact Live. Good grief. Give me a shorter script next time, please. And I'll is spelled I apostrophe double L. Not I'll like I'll be walking down. Come on, Harry. All right, let's fade out the music and get into the social impact live. Hello. According to an article on WebMD, physical therapist Grace Neura, who is a running expert at Sinai Hospital of Baltimore, she suggests that it's good for us to take a run during the coronavirus pandemic. She says it's safe if we take precautions and that it's good to get outside to get moving and get our sanity back in such crazy times. But what are your thoughts on this, especially as South Africa is allowing joggers, runners, dog walkers to be out during 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. daily? Is this a good idea from the South African government's perspective? And have you maybe taken advantage of this opportunity to get out and to be active again? I'd love to hear from you. Uh, we are broadcasting live. You can send me a WhatsApp text or voice messages on plus two seven seven six four seven six nine two seven seven. That's plus two seven seven six four seven six nine two seven seven. Now, with the South African regulations allowing for exercise, these rules under the Level 4 regulations of the lockdown, which came into effect last Friday, the 1st of May, it limits the time to 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. And movement is also limited to a 5-kilometer radius from home. Now, I know that when President Thura Maposa made this announcement two weeks ago, I was also quite jubilant about this recommendation. For me, I was and I am still able to have this privilege of being able to to work out in my backyard, but this getting out just gives me a bit of my sanity back again. It's good to be able to see other people going out and doing the same, going out for a run, for a cycle, for a walk with their dogs or pushing their pram with, a, with, with their children inside of it. It's good to see people taking social distancing seriously also and also wearing uh, protective wear such as face masks. Now, for the past six weeks, because it's been six weeks, it's 40 days, day 40 today that we've been under lockdown, I've been at home. I've been um, on the old odd occasion I'd go out for essential goods at our local supermarket but my day is basically filled with scenes from Peppa Pig and the Care Bears as my 16 month old daughter and myself attempt to piece together Lego blocks but for me the easing of these restrictions allows for exercise during set periods allows for a chance to to clear my thoughts to pray and to get a space of sanity Again, because it's just a repetitive cycle each and every day. Care Bears, Peppa Pig, walking around and chasing a 16-month-old. Now, that's the scenario I'm going through. And I know that for others who are indeed suffering from mental illness, that these altered regulations at level four of the lockdown helps them to get to a place of sanity as well. Since last Friday, we've seen on social media that it's just boomed and gone out of control. Some people praising government's decision 
or having others who are crucifying government for making such a bad decision as the South African infection rate is on an upward incline, which doesn't seem to be slowing down, sadly. When it comes to these regulations, especially the easing of regulations, to some extent with these exercises, what are your thoughts on it? You can weigh in on the conversation by sending me your WhatsApp text or voice messages on plus two seven seven six four seven six nine two seven seven. Just as Nicole has done, who says, Hi Keenan, I think it's one of those situations where either you allow people to roam around or you cut down on all outdoor activities and not even allow people to shop. I think inconsistency makes the lockdown hard. You go on to say that I think the time slot for the daily exercises must be removed. Maybe they will uh, easy the congestion uh, or we ease the congestion because imagine we could only shop between 7 a.m. and 12 p.m. Could you imagine the chaos? And that's from Nicole. Uh, Nicole, thanks so much for sending through that message and very valid points you have raised there. I know this is what many people have been speaking of, the inconsistency of the lockdown regulations because one minister says something and another minister says something else. I know that if we look at other countries that the Spanish government has allowed millions of its citizens to venture outdoors for the first time in seven weeks because they've been under lockdown for seven weeks and it's a country that's also been hard hit by this global pandemic and that's what happened this past weekend a very very stringent laws were put in place to allow the citizens of Spain to get out and to exercise people were allowed outside to exercise only during specific times designated by by age group and to keep crowds relatively low and to protect seniors from possible exposure. Now, the Spanish regulations set aside a seven-hour block for children under 14 years of age, um, but each child had to be accompanied by an adult, and they could only be out for an hour. Now, the social distancing also needed to be adhered to and proper protective wear Worn. Now, I think if an adaption of a policy like this was altered for South Africa, it could maybe work, especially to cater for essential workers. Imagine you are an essential worker working a nine to five or working the night shift. The restrictions of allowing exercise during 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. doesn't really help you very much. If we adapted somewhat of a Spanish system as our own, allowing exercise to say between 6 a.m. for X to Y age group on this particular day, and then we also had say 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. for G to H age group, and tomorrow the age groups are alternated, maybe that will also decrease the number of people we are seeing on the streets going out for an exercise, for a run, for a jog, for a cycle, or walking their dogs. But I don't know. That's just something that I've been thinking of and also looking at how they are doing it in other countries as well. I know that we can't apply European European system to a South African issue and a South African problem, but maybe what's working there could work for us as well. I believe there's a WhatsApp voice note which uh, came through from Nicolette. Let's have a listen. Hey, Keenan. Interesting topic. Um, I think it's actually a good idea that people are allowed to go out for a short amount of time. I think it's just very difficult to control people in certain areas. Um, just because you are out running doesn't mean you're not maintaining a social distance. And I think it's actually good for people's mental health to get some kind of exercise, walk the dogs, walk a bit with the baby in the pram. Um, I do think people must still maintain social distancing and still wear masks and still abide by the rules. Um, I do think it is a bit of a challenge in places where lots of people flock to it. Um, but I think it's good. It must just be better executed. Yeah, but it is a challenge. I think people are a lot happier now that they can go out even if it's for three hours. And I think it's also helped that there's only a certain amount of time in which you can do all these things. Great topic. Thank you. 
Thanks a lot, Nicolette, for sending through that message. And I do agree that the option to exercise is good for our mental health and that we should still abide by the rules and the restrictions of this lockdown. Uh, Corbin, thanks so much for sending through your text. Uh, Corbin, you say that I don't agree with the easing of the regulations. We are seeing a sharp increase of infections taking place in South Africa on a daily basis and to allow for exercise will just make things worse. Look at how crowded places like Seymour a seapoint promenade uh, and the images which, has, which have come from there. South Africans are going to die like flies, sadly. Uh, Corbin, thanks so much for sending through that uh, message. Uh, sadly, the numbers and the people who are infected with COVID-19 are increasing, but perhaps having and looking at other ways of doing things, such as having two exercise slots, we'll see a decrease in the number of people out on the streets. Uh, Olivia, you say the, that uh, these are valid points, especially around the South African government adapting Spanish uh, restrictions for our own however we need to change our thinking completely and make our lockdown restrictions more suited for south africa because what works in europe or america or asia won't necessarily work yeah absolutely i agree with you this is something i've been speaking about for the past couple of weeks we need to relook how we do and operate things during this lockdown as a country because rightly so what might have worked or what is working in spain might not necessarily work in South Africa. We need to look at our demographic, but we also provincially, we need to do things different provincially. And I think areas need to apply it as well, because what is working in Lansdowne might not work in Kailicha, and what's working in Kailicha might not work in Paul or in uh, Epping or in Goodwood or on in another part of South Africa, we need to apply it so that we are able to focus on our demographic properly because if we're just going to take a copy and paste of what worked in China or what worked in Spain or what worked in France, that's what's working for them or that's what didn't work for them and we're trying to apply it in South Africa. Um, it might not work for us. It might work for us, but we need to adapt it according to our demographic as well. I do believe there's a WhatsApp voice note coming through on plus two seven seven six four seven six nine two seven seven. This one's from Merville. Let's have a listen. Yo, man, have a discussion on um, relating to this. Why can't we go jog? Why can't we take dogs out for a walk uh, during the lockdown? But they are referring to us going back to school, but we can't go to church. Why, like, bring that topic also to 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 light? We we can't go to church. We can't have a braai. The ministers who broadcasted that that uh, 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 suggested dates for school to reopen had a meeting, a Zoom meeting in the comfort of their own home, but they want us to go to school and they know and they know for for fact that public schools are not the best well managed type schools. Know that for a fact, but they want to they they, they don't want us to go to church. Or to mosque. That doesn't sound right. Thanks a lot for the uh, voice note, Merville. I am going to park that discussion uh, just there because it brings up a whole new discussion we can follow up next Tuesday as we deal with more of your thoughts and opinions. You can continue to weigh in on the conversation and let me know whether you agree or disagree with Merville. Should we be allowing for people to go to church or to their respective places of worship if social distancing and regulations uh, be adhered to, especially now that there's talks that schools will reopen as well. You can contribute to be a part of the conversation by sending us a WhatsApp text or voice message on 76 9277 If you are messaging from abroad, you just add the plus two seven in the in the front of that for the South African code. Uh, but thanks so much for listening to our test broadcast of our live stream of the Social Impact Live with me, Keenan Williams, on KW Media. Life. We're back again tomorrow for our live broadcast at 9 p.m. South African Standard Time. Thanks so much for uh, all who have contributed by sending your texts and voice messages through uh, today. Uh, till tomorrow, from myself, Keenan Williams, keep rocking SA. Bye-bye.